hi guys welcome to the channel and welcome again if you're a returning subscriber if you are new here please do well to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification so you get notified whenever i post a new video in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to sew this dress in my previous video i put out how to cut it so you should watch that before you watch this one after cutting out the front and back pieces and the flare I went ahead to begin joining my pieces so you are going to pick up the front piece two pieces of the front and the back piece and align them together so that's basically what i'm doing i'm going to close up the shoulder parts and then i'm going to close up the sides so on the right side of my fabric i'm going to mark two inches from the waistline upwards and then from that point i'm going to mark another two inches these points that i've marked are the lines where i'm not going to be sewing so i'm going to sew from the armhole downwards to meet that point and then stop then sew from this point downwards also that space is going to be where our rope is going to pass so for this other side i'm going to be sewing it completely i'm not going to be leaving any spaces remember we also cut out our sleeve in the previous video so i'm going to go ahead and attach it to the bodies and then hem the, the edges after sewing i went ahead to sew down my darts for the back and the front pieces remember i notched it when i was cutting so yeah i just made sure i sewed it down and this is what it looks like so i'm going to head over to the lower part i'm going to pause with this aspect first do the lower part and then come back to join them together this is the lower part of this dress which is the skirt area uh, which is the flea i've gone ahead to insert the pocket on the right side as you can see so i'm just going to show you how i did the pockets by showing you how i came i did that so by after cutting out your pockets what you want to do is please open your skirt we already did that previously so after splitting open you want to place your pocket about three to two inches four inches whichever length you want from your waistline downwards you mark it on that point and then place your pockets right sides facing right sides on the right side of the of the skirt on the wrong side of the skirt so just like you see me doing just go ahead and place it like this one part on this side and one part on the other side you also want to sew from the skirt to this point and then join it all the way down before you come and join together after holding it down you want to go ahead and sew from the top part of the waistline from this point downwards and then you follow the sides of the pocket cover the curve and sew downwards and continue your sewing till you get to the end of the fabric this is what it looks like after stitching the pockets and ironing it down so as you can see it's smooth already you want to have this on both sides next thing we are going to do is to insert our flay that's the flounce on the lower part and before we do that we have to measure the flay length that's from the curved area of the flay round to the other side we are going to have to measure it so that we know the exact um the exact length of the flay we are going to be cutting out so basically just take your tape and start measuring from one end of the waistline that is coming downwards all the way around the edges of the flay that's the lower parts of the flay after measuring the length i got about 136 inches thereabouts i don't really remember exactly so the idea is to cut out a flay that is going to give us the length of whatever we have so you need to cut out the, uh, the area of the flay where you are going to place your waist measurement your waist circumference is the place where you are going to measure the 100 plus inches to get so you are going to cut out as many flays as possible till you get that length that required length 
so I'm just trying to minimize my fabric and cut out the fleece as much as possible you can make use of your flounce the cutting for that is different but for this tutorial we're going to be cutting out fleece that's 360 degree fleece in different um, portion so I'm going to make use of the same length which is 13 inches ultra you have to make use of as many flares as possible until you get the desired length so because of the bulkiness of the flare when I got to the upper part of the waistline I decided to reduce the length so that it falls exactly where the side ends so I decided to cut a shorter piece of flare so instead of the regular 12 inches we cut I cut out about 7 inches or 8 inches thereabouts. Place the tape on the part of the skirt where it's starting from and then use whatever you have as your measurement. So I got 8 inches and that will be the length of the flare we'll be cutting for that area. So before I finish cutting out the inches for the 12 inches flare, I made sure I marked where I was going to start putting my 8 inches from and this is where it is so I'm just going to measure from that end to the upper part to see where it actually stopped and then I'm going to use the length I cut at the end of the day to cut the flay for the 8 inches go ahead to subtract whatever you get from here from the complete length of 130 inches then cut out the um, length for the short flay you have after cutting out the 8 inches flare, I deducted whatever I had from the 136 inches and I just kept cutting my remaining part of the flare till I was done with that. Notice how I kept splitting open all the flares. Yes, you are going to join in each flare together. Starting from the first flare up to the down flare, so you have a long trail of flares that end up looking like a flower. After joining it, this is what we have and you want to go ahead and hem each side of the flay. So before we do that, I'm just going to show you what it's going to look like on the part where I cut the shorter flay. When putting together the flay, we're going to start from the lower part. So we're going to join it right sides, fitting right sides. We're going to start from one end all the way to the other end of the flay. You can see that this is where I joined the shorter flare, with the longer flare. So I'm just going to give it a good trim. You can use your chalk or something to just blend it in, but I'll just use my free hand and my scissors to just like curve it out. So this is what it looks like after joining the flare, the lower flare to the main skirt. I went ahead to hem the edges as well and to give it a good press. I pleated in some places because it, I had excess fabric. It was longer than the required flare and I didn't want to throw it away. So what I did was try to make sure that the length of the flare I'm cutting is exactly the length you need. So this is what we are done and the next thing to do is to insert the upper part to the lower part of the dress. Take out your upper bodies and join it to the skirt area. So we are going to be making use of this lower part of the top, this part where we have the label of the fabric, which is in white. So we are going to be sewing about half an inch inwards. So I'm going to pick up the lower part and mark the waistline, that's the, the sides of the waist. I'm going to pin it down on those points so that I sew exactly on the waistline. So I'll sew around and I'll show you what I have. So this is what it looks like after joining the upper bodies to the lower bodies. Next thing I'm going to do is to insert my belt. So before I do that, for this one that's going to be going in, I'm going to fold this part inwards and then connect my belt to that point. And then for the flap that's going to be overlapping, I'm going to Measure 2 inches upwards, mark it and then connect it to the v neckline. The next thing to do is to insert the collar. So to do this, you are going to align your neckline. You are going to place it properly from the midpoint at the back. 
and then place your tape on it to measure to the length you want the color to start from or to stop so to from the point midpoint to the shoulder line is like 4.5 inches and then from that point i want to come down with about three inches or two and a half you can come down with about two four inches depending on how long you want it to be and all together we have eight inches so this means the length of our shoulder is going to be 16 inches because it's plus two is 16. so for the color i already cut out a piece which was about 4.5 inches and i readjusted it to four inches it's about um, 10 inches long so for the color we're going to be making use of 8 inches length of fabric so go ahead place your tape and mark 8 inches after marking 8 inches remember this is the part that is going to stay on the neckline so the other side is folded what you want to do is that on the other side you are going to add an extra 1 inch to make it 9 inches so down is going to be 8 inches and up is going to be 9 inches once you are done with that go ahead and include your sewing allowance of about half an inch for both the upper parts and the lower parts and there you have your color ready now that the color has been cut out what you want to do is give it a notch on the midpoint i advise you to do the same on your neckline so you know exactly from where the midpoint starts so the next thing you want to do is open it up, go to your sewing machine and sew the edges. After sewing the edges with about half an inch sewing allowance, you turn it over and give it a good press. Once you turn it over, you stitch on all sides from this point all the way round the collar to the other points. It's very tiny stitches and I'll show you what I have. As you can see the color, you, you have gone ahead to top stitch around the edges and I just sewed from the midpoint of one end of the neckline to the other end. So this is how it looks like. The other side is left open. As you can see, we're going to be making use of bias tape to turn it in to cover every part of the neckline. You can make use of same fabric or you make use of your bias tape. But for me, I'll be making use of my bias today. So I'm going to start from the end of the belt where it's open. So from that end, I'm going to place my bias tape on the that's the left side and sew it round. I'm going to sew it just the normal way you sew your bias and then turn it over as well and top stitch. After sewing down the bias, that's basically all for this tutorial. As you can see, the way I turned it neatly, make sure you try to turn yours as neat as possible to avoid it from looking um, quite shabby. So yeah, that's the end of the tutorial and this is our dress. You can want to go ahead and weave the inner parts of the dress if you like and if you don't, that's totally up to you. So please give it a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. I would like to see your comments in the comments section. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll see you in my next video.